All right, so I've got a pretty nice replay here for you today. This is a game that I played last night that uh, I was playing by myself. And surprise, surprise, it's a French destroyer. Who is surprised by that? Nobody, because I'm still on my French destroyer addiction. But anyway, we are playing the Mogador, one of my current favorites, aside from Marceau. And looking at the matchmaking, threats to my ship, there's only one radar in the Cleveland, a 9km radar. Kitakaze, and Fletcher, Kagero, and Cossack fail division uh, for destroyers. No carrier, no submarines, one radar. That's pretty much about one of the best matchmakings that you can possibly get in a French destroyer. Or really just any destroyer for that matter. But... The thing right now that I'm looking at is, the thing that's significant is this division right here. First of all, don't do three-man destroyer divisions unless you're like doing like some kind of giga wolf pack. And you know that you and your div mates are actually good enough to carry as three destroyers. Because if you all three destroyers spawn in like the middle for instance, which spoil, minor spoiler alert, that's what's about to happen... Uh, their other side, whichever side doesn't get the Kitakaze, is going to be more, literally going to be completely without spotting. So, that's just a uh, word of warning, or a word of caution when you're doing triple destroyer divisions. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, when I am looking at this division, though, there is a Fletcher and a Cossack. Isn't that right, Stewie? So, I'm, I'm... Trying to be a little bit more cautious here just because I don't want to face check any of them, and then all of a sudden there's three of them. That is one of the big dangers of the French destroyers, is if you don't have your reload booster, you don't really have really good DPM to be able to fight uh, even a DPM destroyer, let alone two of them and a, and a spotter. But anyway, this Kagero right here immediately smokes up for absolutely no reason so what's that what that is telling me is that this guy is absolutely dented he is absolute trash and i cannot rely on him so immediately right off the bat oh and he's also launching widespread torpedoes that's also beautiful so immediately off the bat i know that i'm down one teammate basically and I'm launching some Make-A-Wish torpedoes right here just on the chance that if one of those destroyers tries to push around that corner and uh, push onto that side of uh, sea, maybe those torpedoes will catch him. But based on the fact that uh, the Kitakazi's already been spotted and the Fletcher is now spotted going to be, uh, I immediately know that there's not going to be a destroyer over here. So my immediate reaction is I'm going to walk down 910 line and I'm going to try and ambush one of these destroyers or maybe get my farm on one of these battleships and what that does which one of those I do depends on what their team does and a Cleveland pops up right here which I could put some armor piercing into him if we can get spotting on him but I believe he's in smoke uh, I believe you can maybe see it like you might have been able to see it right over there past the edge of that uh, mountain for a second there but it's so going to be more visible right here as well you can see the smoke right there so our HSF Harakazi is already super low uh, our Kitakazi is sitting in front of a Fletcher, a Cleveland and a Cossack and what was the other one? a Kagero and he's just kind of chilling in smoke so he's not going to last and this Iowa is going to be my main target. Originally, I was looking at the Cleveland to uh, try and put either some torpedoes into the smoke or to wait for the smoke to inspire and hope that he's going to be broadside so I can chainsaw him with my reload booster and armor piercing. But this Iowa is walking over here. And I do decide to open up on him. What I was expecting was him to turn out and away and try and go towards uh, B as soon as he sees the destroyer on his side. But instead he does the unironically kind of sensible thing of turning in. 
instead of turning out to get it to be greedy and get all of his guns because that is what most players would have done and that would have put him into the path of these torpedoes but then it also turns out that that's an he iowa so uh that was probably unironically more by luck than judgment and this iowa is going to be the biggest problem right now i'm going to have to put this guy down and if i want to do anything else and I launched torpedoes right there, even though these are 8km torpedoes. The Iowa is a fast battleship, and he is pushing directly towards me. So, I put those torpedoes out in hopes that he's going to push up fast enough that, uh, that he would be able to eat those torpedoes regardless. So, right now, if you saw right there, I actually had a triple fire going on that Iowa which is really spicy. One salvo got a double fire when he was already burning once, and he did DCP. So I did hit my reload booster right here to try and set him on a double perma fire again. I only get a single fire, and those torpedoes just ran out before they got to him, which is unfortunate, because I really wanted those hits, as I really need this guy to go down. But luckily, we I do have a friendly Iowa who is putting in some ability to support me uh, with at least some kind of firepower from range. Uh, he did get a pretty good hit on the Iowa earlier. Uh, he's the one who put him on 34k from I think like 50k or something like that. So that Iowa did put a pretty good shot into him which did really help me out there. And I'm just going to wait for this guy to burn out. And now that the eye was gone, you can see the Vladivostok done been kiting away. The uh, Cleveland is in in B. The Cossack is moving towards A, and so is their entire division. So what I'm looking at right now is I want to step into B cap and put some pressure on there because I could chase after these battleships and get my farm on. And that would just open up the ability for this division and this Kitakaze to farm out these lot right here while I'm just farming damage on battleships, which is not helping my team. So what I'm looking to do is I want to step into B and I want to force that division and I want to force the enemy team to have to commit resources to dealing with me. It's Because if I can split their forces between the rest of my team... Who is pressuring A right now. And excuse me, I just had a fucking, uh, another one of my little flavored waters that I'm addicted to. But, anyway, uh, I'm right now I'm just looking to step into B. And I want to apply that cap pressure. And I want to force the enemy team to have to commit resources to dealing with me. Whereas, if I were to run out here and try and get some farming on any of these battleships, while that could net me a okay amount of damage, that's not helping my team. That's not stemming the points bleeding from us having uh, one cap versus their two. That's not helping that situation. So what I want to do is I want to step into B, contest it so they're no longer gaining points from it, and then deal with these destroyers as they're forced to come and deal with me. And I am looking to put some torpedoes into this flat of Ostok. He is about to uh, be pin himself against this island right here. It's a little bit hard to see on the minimap right there. But the edge of the island, he's going to have to turn out towards me slightly if he wants to avoid beaching. So that's what those torpedoes are meant to catch him for. And now what I want to do is we are flipping B cap right now which is good, and I am being located by at le by one of their destroyers. And you can see this Kagro, he's smoking up again because he's fucking stupid. I don't think he does literally anything this entire game. This Vladivostok actually turns in because he sees the smoke screen from the Kagro, or he sees B being, uh, being flipped. It's actually hard to tell which one, but he's still... But right now... What I'm looking at is I want to get out of B because I don't want to have a Vladivostok on my mouth. 
So I need to just get out of B. I want to wait for my torpedoes to come back up. And then from there, I'll make my next play. And that's when this Fletcher pops up. And as soon as this Fletcher pops up, I know that at least one of those destroyers already popped their smoke screen. So I want to just run at this guy and I want to assassinate him. I do have my reload booster available. And I'm just going to run at this guy and I'm going to straight up just assassinate him. And the Kagero, to his credit, the Kagero actually shot the Fletcher. What a world that is where someone in a Kagero uses their guns. I mean, I don't think they did any damage, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. And there's the obvious Fletcher torpedoes. And right here, the Kagero pops up. I'm honestly not sure why the Kagero decided to leave the smoke instead of just like backing around in it and uh, reversing. Because I honestly thought that uh, that smoke was just gone or there was nothing else in it because the Fletcher had already died. Which to be fair, I should have expected there to be one of them in there because of the uh, whole division thing. But yeah. I just need to vary my course and speed a little bit here just to make sure that I don't eat Kagro torpedoes. Our Kag our Kagro managed to get himself detected by a Sejong, which I don't know how he managed to do that, but he did. The Cossack does pop up there, but what I'm more interested in at this moment is I want to tr at least attempt to save our Kagro, which is going to be a futile attempt. Because he does, he basically swagged his smokescreen over there for literally no reason. He swagged another smokescreen at sea for no reason. But anyway, I'm not going to berate that Kagero too much. I've already done that up to this point anyway. So I think the message is pretty clear. What I want is I want to deal with this Sejong. Because I can deal with the Cossack. And I can deal with the Vladivostok. The Vladivostok actually has an Iowa running it down at him. When I'm looking at that, I'm like, okay, that actually should be pretty good. It's a full health Iowa versus like, what was that? A half health or like a, or at very least like two thirds health. No, like less than half health Vladivostok versus a full health Iowa. Let me, let me repeat this. Full health Iowa, 100% Iowa versus a less than half health Vladivostok. Just just remember that for later, okay? Anyway, I'm obviously being RPF by one right now. I'm expecting it's to be the Cossack. The Kitakazi hasn't been spotted in a while. Uh that Kitakazi's like was last seen down there. We well, could be anywhere at this point. I'm expecting that he's harassing one of these battleships, but as it's about to turn out, he's not. And you're going to see that manifest in a few seconds here. And I'm expecting it to be this uh, this Cossack that's locating me. I'm honestly not positive if it's the uh, Cossack or the Kitakazi that has me located right now. But that Kitakazi is about to pop up right here, which is actually a really good play from him. Because I have my guns pointed somewhere else, I'm focused on something else. So this is his best shot at me because I'm distracted I'm forced to look elsewhere and I don't have really good turret traverse so uh, he is about to pop up in a few seconds right here because I'm slowing down at, at, at this point I th I'm pretty well thinking I'm more or less safe other than the Cossack I still think that the Kitakazi is harassing these two battleships but then wait for it Yep, there he is, right there. I do actually think it's the Kitakazi who's running RPF now. And you see me noticing him right there, but I'm not able to deal with him. I don't have the turret traverse. I would eat far too much damage trying to let my turrets turn to shoot at him. I don't have my reload booster. It's a Kitakazi. It's just not a good situation. He also has smoke. I don't. It's just everything that could be in that guy's favor is. So I'm not going to bother with him. What I am looking at doing right now is I want to get a finish on this Sejong. Because, I mean, look at our Iowa, by the way. He was full health. 
he is less than half, and he's done like 10k to that fucking Vladivostok. Or Haguru did, or Haguro, whatever the hell it is, did end up donating. And I do manage to pick up the, uh, pick up the finish on that Sejong. I'm putting out torpedoes for the Kitakazi in case he tries to back out here from this Turpitz and this Iowa. They're largely Make-A-Wish torps, but, uh, they're the... They're just, if they hit, they hit. If not, whatever. Right now, we still have a decent chance. We have our Iowa interprets that are kiting, or at least were kiting. Our Iowa just got himself killed, though. Which, by the way, a full health Iowa versus a half, less than half health Vladivostok. And he managed to literally, unironically, 100% donate, so... Right now, what I'm looking at is this Cossack is going to be popping up either right here or right here. But I was expecting right there just because of the way his bow was pointing. And here's where my last reload booster comes in. There we go. That is one full health to dead Cossack. And then our Iowa, of course, just straight up donates to the Kitakaze. Because he pushed into A for absolutely no reason and straight up killed himself via Musashi and Kitakaze. So, right now, it's not looking very good. We do, at very least, have the Turpit still alive. If he can kite away, maybe we can win if we can hold on to both caps. But the problem right now is the Kitakaze and the Vladivostok are both walking at B. And I am not going to be able to hold B with the amount of health I have. I almost toyed with the idea as if this Vladivostok went straight into B. Then just sh I just straight up try and rush him and YOLO torp him. And at very least remove him from the board. Which would open up the avenue for our Turpits to walk into B to stop the Kitakaze. As long as he doesn't eat uh, Kitakaze torpedoes, he'll be fine. But unfortunately... That Kitakaze is going to pop up right here. He's full health, and I don't have a reload booster. And that's going to be it for me this game. And the issue right now is that everyone else on our team donated. Both of our I was donated. Uh, I, well, I don't want to say I donated, but I did end up dying because... Uh, you know, full health Kitakazi versus four health Mo or four K health Mogador without a reload booster. Not exactly a very great fight, even though I did assassinate three other destroyers in the process. But anyway, this Turpitz is just going to get farmed out. Uh, in order to have won this game, all we needed to do was hold B and C and not donate. So naturally, our full health Iowa fucking died to a less than half health Vladivostok with barely doing even 10k to the Vladivostok and then literally donated his full 80,000 health pool to god knows what I'm not I'm not even going to go I'm not even going to go on about that but it was fucking atrocious uh our other Iowa at A donated to the Kitakaze via Torps because he pushed into A when he didn't need to and committed suicide via Musashi, uh, probably via Vladivostok support and Kitakaze torpedoes because he's a fucking monkey. This game was an absolute tragedy at the end. And honestly, we had the potential to have won this game, assuming no one donated, but... Our Iowa donated, the Turpits donated, although at that point the game was already lost. Our Kagero, who, mind you, I did some animal research on this guy. He has 61 account battles total in his life. He has 61 battles and he's in a tier 8 ship. So, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to go on and on and on about this. Because I can go on for an entire rant about this. But anyway... I did some animal research, and I'm not going to name specific names, mostly. Uh, but we had three hidden profiles, two 30 percenters. Like, there was like a 31 and like a 30, 
five percenter. And then everyone else was like 40 to 42, 44%. And it was fucking tragic. It was... And we also had, of course, the Kagero, who had 61 account battles. And still outscored almost everyone on the team. So this was, like, literally the biggest fucking tragedy I've ever seen in recent memory. But what I th the reason I'm sharing this replay with you is I believe this replay really highlights the fr the strength of these French destroyers. It highlights their speed to be able to move around the map. It gives you you have the reload booster especially which gives you the ability to just fucking chainsaw things. You saw what happened to the Fletcher, you saw what happened to the Cossack, you saw what happened to the Sejong. All three of them got absolutely chainsawed by that reload booster. And the only reason the Kagro didn't was because I didn't have it available because of the Fletcher. And the only reason the Kitakaze didn't was because I was already low health and I was out. Uh, you saw what the AP did to the Sejong. That is French destroyer armor piercing, 139 millimeters. Comfortable ballistics, very good penetration against, especially against light cruisers like that Sejong. You saw uh, I straight up citadeled him multiple times. So, what I think the lesson is in this replay is: first of all, don't donate. Second of all, the French destroyers are fast assassins. They are absolutely not open water farmers. And if anyone suggests to you to do that, Tell them they're fucking stupid because that is not how you play these ships. You can play them like that and you can get okay results by doing that. But like I talked about in my one tier list video, you're not contributing. You're not doing anything useful for yourself or your team. You're farming meaningless damage on battleships that no one cares about while you let the caps tick. And you let your team get farmed out by three destroyer divisions. That is not how you play French Destroyers. You use their speed to rotate around the map as needed, and you use their reload booster, or in the case of Marceau, just straight up DPM, to chainsaw things around islands, or just pop up and assassinate things, hunt destroyers, use islands to mask your conceal, use friendly smoke if you can, and use islands if you can, like with the Kagero. Uh, he ended up getting himself pinchered between the island there, between me and the island, and he had no other choice other than die. So, anyway, first of all, the lesson is don't donate, and second of all, French destroyers are fast assassins. They are not farming ships. And on that note, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this replay. I hope you've learned something about the French Destroyers. Hopefully this will help you in your French Destroyer gameplay in your coming games. And I hope that you see success by doing this. And good luck in your games. I will see you tomorrow.